So then Paul went from Athens to Corinth and he was like, from now on, I'm just gonna know Jesus. So in Corinth, Paul met this Italian tent maker named Aquila. Thank you so much for to come into Corinth. So Paul and Aquila made some tents together. Thank you so much for to making my tent. Hey, what's up, Paul? You going to the Dave concert this weekend? I brought the stuff, you know. Is that a camera? Whoa, whoa. You set me up? Hey, turn that no, off! What are you doing? Run! I think the Corinthian church is in dire need of another letter. So the Jews in Corinth blasphemed God, and Paul flipped, and he was like, Your blood be on your own heads! From now on, I'm going to the Gentiles! Heil Paul! Then the Lord appeared to Paul in a vision, and he was like, Do not be afraid, but speak. Do not keep silent, for I have many people in this city. Houston, we have a verse. Paul was in Corinth for a year and a half, and after that he went and got his hair cut at Centrea. Hey, Aaron, I think he totally hit him up, but he hasn't called me in two weeks and I'm just going crazy! Uh, I'm not really black. So then Paul went to Ephesus, and there he dropped off Aquila and Priscilla to continue the ministry there. Thank you so much for the dropping us off. Hi there, I'm Tim. So then Paul was making the rounds and encouraging all the disciples, and it was awesome. And in Ephesus, this awesome preacher named Apollos was like, Why, you slimy double-crossing no-good swindler? You got a lot of guts coming here after what you pulled. <gasps> <laughs> How you doing, you old pirate? Hmm, those lines sound familiar. Ah, oh, yes, I'm a Guerra di Stelle. 